بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اوكي ماي ديير فرندز محمد انوار الحق هير اغين ود يو توداي فرست اوف اول اي ويل تيك ذس اوبورتونيتي تو اكستند ماي جريتينجز اون ذا ايف اوف عيد الفطر اي هوب يور عيد الفطر مايت هاف جون فيري فيري ويل Secondly, I just want to speak uh, today on one very important issue, which is actually the burning issue at present, which is happening in the Middle East, the conflict between Israel and Palestinian or Hamas. So I have a couple of things, a couple of updates which I want to share with you. So these updates are really very important and uh, I hope uh, these updates will further enlighten your uh, views related to the situation and how the things are unfolding in the future and what can be the outcome in the future the possible outcome now first of all the conflict which has started by the attack of uh, zionist uh, the israelis on uh, masjid al aqsa okay it actually it was a provo uh, provocation from on behalf of the israelis and obviously there should be a retaliation and it was a basic instinct from all muslims especially the muslims who are living in that area the palestinians so they retaliated now once uh, they retaliated so obviously the no conflict is exaggerating it is uh, going to the next height israelis they are bombing Uh, the area in the same way the hamas they are actually attacking through their rockets and today i came to know through the news that they have started to use drones also and those drones they are actually named as suicidal drones mean they will be just go and they will bombard at one place and that's all so this is a totally unique kind of thing which is happening Uh, uh this is not a good news for israelis you know why point is the hamas they previously also they were having the uh, rocket attacks but those rockets they were easily intercepted by the iron dome of israel this time they have changed the uh, the structure or uh, the uh, the qualities they have in enhanced the uh, capabilities of their rockets and now not only they have gained uh, you know distance like they can mark or they can hit a long distances like today they hit almost 250 kilometers this is a big achievement this is a big achievement and secondly they have uh, today i have seen like they have made some kind of adjustments in their rockets like they can easily fool the iron dome which is the defense system of israelis so this is a remarkable remarkable progress on part of hamas how they are uh, you know with these limited resources i don't know how they manage this thing on obviously these are the, the things which are going on these are done by the proxies and obviously once we are talking about the proxies so there will be people behind these proxies and being enlightened you guys know much much better than me which is the biggest proxy behind all this middle east conflict so uh, what i see in future there is no other way but negotiation but negotiation you will see a negotiation will be done but for the time being is you will see the major winners who are coming out in this crisis they are hamas they have further endorsement and you will see muslim support across the globe it will direct now towards hamas you will you will see this thing happening moreover what i'm saying like now non arab countries i told this thing before and today again i'm reiterating non arab countries 
they are going to play a vital role in the future of this Middle East conflict. Pakistan, Turkey, Turkey is in the leading role, Iran and Malaysia. These are the countries which you will see in near future. They will be playing a pivotal role in the Middle East, this conflict. And today I heard like uh, uh, Turk uh, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, he has asked for a peacekeeping force for Palestinian territory made up of Muslim army or Muslim personnel. Big achievement. Really, this is a very, very good and very, very positive signal. And you know, the hidden impacts are beyond the expectations of those people who are against this. You will see. So I keep my words here. Inshallah, just I want to update you about the crisis. Okay. So there are a number of things which are happening in uh, Middle East now, especially in Palestine. Okay. So whenever any new update will come to me, Inshallah, I will try in my capacity to update you about this all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. Thank you. Bye bye.